Hello, folks. We're at uh, the Vander Vanderbrink Auction, Springfield, Michigan. Today's Friday. This is a preview day, and uh, there's quite a bit to see here. And uh, I almost didn't come down here. And boy, I'm down here, and I am glad I'm down here. There is stuff here that I have never seen before, and that. Uh, you would almost say if you wanted to almost have to travel all over the country to see some of this stuff. There's basically a cars. There's race cars, you know, little little midget cars. And then there is a unbelievable vintage motorcycle section here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you these things in uh, segments because I like that billion auto. It seems like everything's a billion dollars these days. A little bit of fun there. But uh, I'm going to do the cars. And a lot of these cars are in non-running condition. A lot of them are pieces. I don't know a lot. I mean, nothing. I know nothing about these cars. But I'm just going to show them to you. Uh, they're extraordinarily interesting. I think. Uh, so I'm just going to videotape them. And let your mind wander as you see this stuff. This is po Pojo. That's a Pojo right there. This section right here is all Pojo. He's got a section over here of Maseratis. There's a couple Rolls Royces around here. But this particular car right here, this gray one, <coughs> is a diesel. In the, in the Pojo section, there are two cars that are diesel that I've noticed. Um, I think this, this red wagon right here. Pretty darn nice car. This is a diesel. Probably run forever. And a lot of these cars have uh, California plates on them. This here is pretty solid right there, 205. So we got the Peugeots over here. There's a lot of them. Various vintages. Looks like he likes wagons. And as you see that silver one down here, it's got California plates on it. So. Here's one he pulled in from Washington. That one might have came from an army base or overseas. This red one is real nice. Looks like the might be on his pride and joy there. But uh, there's a lot of cars here. <clears throat> I'm gonna film these first, and then I am going to uh, film the motorcycles. And I don't know anything about these vintage bikes. That's why I'm down here. I wanted to learn something. These are bikes I would never ever see anywhere. You know, you wouldn't see them on the road. I'd have to try out travel five or six hundred miles to go to some kind of vintage motorcycle event, which I'm I really not going to do that. But this stuff is close to me. I had to drive sixty miles down here. Like I said, I, I was on the fence about coming down here, but man, I sure am glad I did. S62, this uh, VIN, VIN number on this one is uh, 9839, that's the VIN. I don't know if you catch that. It's, it's got a aftermarket radio in it. It's got a hard top, so yeah, hard tops right over there. And these are the 670, 15, one inch corker probably. Oh, fire some repo tires. And here's the various Cadillacs. 91 Alante, Cadillac Brome, another one. You see all these things need work. You get too many cars, you can't work on them all the time. Some of these cars run, some of them not. Oh, this is the car that I've always wanted. A 57 convertible. I remember the first one I saw many, many years ago. I just thought it was on, but, you know, stunning. And, uh, I didn't, you know, didn't do anything, but now these are, as you know, out of my range. And I was actually thinking, hey, this one might be in my range. But I did look at the, I did look on Thursday night at the bid, and the bids have already started. And the bid up there on Thursday night when I looked, it was like $8,900. So um, the VIN is there, but I, I, I don't have my glasses on, so I'm not going to attempt to read the VIN to you. Um, it's listed in the programs as not having the doors, but it does look like one of the doors is there. This is a pretty cool car. I would not even put doors back on. 
I just get a little windscreen. I just drive it around all junked up just like it is. No doors, little tiny windscreen. And I probably have a ball. 75 Cosworth Vega. Hey, what's headers, boy? I don't know anything about these. This one, I can't find the engine on it. I guess you got to put your own engine on that one. Lots of parts. And this guy was, this guy had a wide range of interest. Uh, he was an engineer, I, apparently by trade. I just stuff stuff I've read on the internet. But man, does this guy have a wide range of interest. These are the beautiful cars of the show, so I'm gonna spend, I'm just gonna camera over these cars a little bit. Because uh, if you're thinking about coming in and you have interest in this kind of stuff. Interior's all done. Yeah, that's nicely done right there. Obviously a big dollar car. And then we got this green one. Unusual color. But it's nice looking. I don't know anything about these. It's all before my time. It says it runs. Something about the fuel and battery is disconnected. So that's how you know obviously how they store it. It's got a vinyl interior, brown. Here's your engine. Damn it, spark plugs. These look brand new on there. I bet if I check this oil, I bet the oil would look great too. And look at this one. This old Ford. Yep, there it is right there. It's right up to full. There's your gas bowl right there. Alternator and a single it looks like a single car. Then they got all this right here. I'm gonna step back to get these cars in. It's a Rio 1930s. Some of these cars they have titles for, some they don't. I, I guess I got that because uh, as I'm walking around looking at these cars, there's notes that says we have title for this car. So I don't know what that means to you guys, but yo, look at this thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. I remember reading back in a day that everybody wanted the V12s because the engines ran so smooth. All before my time. Runs. Something fuel and battery disconnected. Back the doors. Okay, this one's opening. So hopefully if you're thinking about coming to the show, Antifreeze, good to 40 below. Hopefully this helps you in some way. This is, uh, somebody's just putting this together, this particular car. Rolls, 1980. Jaguar. You don't need me to tell you that. You can, you know. Corniche, you know, none, none of this stuff's perfect. But I'm sure it'll all be priced accordingly as the bidder show up. There is, a, I, I'm here today on Friday on the preview. There are, uh, there is quite a few people walking around looking at this stuff. And uh, I'm not going to come tomorrow, but I'm sure this place is going to be hopping. Red one. Let's see, this got a dent in it, just so you know. If you're bidding online, there you go. That's pretty rough, but you know, somebody might buy it. It's a, it looks like the original color is brown. And then we got this thing here, <clears throat> another one. Wait, this guy's got everything. Look, he's got a Land Rover, Range Rover. Now, look at this thing. I don't know anything about these. I've looked it over real quick. And, but what is cool on this thing is like, look at this engine. You can almost hear in my mind, I can almost hear this thing running, you know. You know. And uh, pretty much it looks almost like home built. There's your construction right there. It almost looks like home built stuff. But like I said, 
Pretty cool, huh? 19, 2009 Delaware, whatever that means. Obviously, this guy's picked stuff up from all over the country. Had a little bit of jingle jangle in his pockets and was having fun with it. Jaguar, I mean, I'm sorry, Ferrari, Volvo, Saab. Now, this is some of focus on this because it's so unusual. These are, I know somebody's interested in this. Fun little something something. Uh, Alon, Lotus Alon. Yeah, I'm just panning this. Now, this particular car, the four door. I did look at this. I'm going to pop the rear door open for you. You know, like I said, there's this stuff is so, you'd, you just don't see this stuff. And we are just outside of Battle Creek, Michigan. And there is an airport right here, probably within three quarters of a mile. No, Battle, Battle Creek Airport. The paint on this car is great. This one looks like original paint. I'm showing you this because, uh, like I said, I've never seen this stuff before. And I just think it's a great opportunity for me to see these cars that uh, are all over, you know, from all over. British cars, quite a collection. Now, there will be some deals here, deals and steals, because a, a lot of these are need to work. And a lot of these like, don't have titles. So, let's see. 8,100 8, miles is what this says on there. And there's some parts right there. <laughs> a little bit of fun for you. And uh, more parts. Look at those. Somebody's going to have some fun. And we got these cars. These are cars from back in the day. I'm not going to spend much time on these, but they are here. And this is a, here's your road map right there. I'll tell you how to get this car running. Yeah, there we go. Sunroof on this. Green with red. Hmm. Okay. And I'm assuming this is a Cushman. It says 83 Bitter Coupe, Alfa Romeo. That's kind of got some cute lines on it. Bristol, two door. 88 Turbo R. Maserati convertible. I don't. I, I only know this. I'm reading the stuff to you. I, I don't know these cars, but it's just interesting here. Turbo right there. 86. Okay. I'm going to head into the uh, the motorcycle <clears throat> and the midget racing section. I'll try to get that sun out of there, sun glare. You can see uh, when you come in here tomorrow, if you come, there's food to eat. Prices are reasonable, $2 for hot dog. Now, when I come in here, look at this. It's just, wow. Mile after mile of, of motorcycle. Like I said, I don't know anything about these things. I am just going to walk around and try to capture some of this for you. Maybe it'll inspire you to come out here. Maybe you've seen, you'll see something that you've never seen before anywhere, like, like me. <clears throat> There's not much of a description on these. A lot of this stuff is just uh, very, very pretty. It's got beautiful classic looks. That's all the uh, midget racers. I'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to show you these motorcycles. Motorcycle parts. If you're looking for something rare, something unusual, hard to find stuff, I would certainly recommend you come over here somehow. 
I don't know if you're in Chicago, Cincinnati. Cincinnati's about five hours away. Come on up from Louisville. This, I thought this was good. This, this green triumph, I, I like this one myself, but it's got a couple extra items on it. It's got a saddlebag and what, oh, the, the extra, the, you know, the aftermarket seat. So, again, I'm just going to tell you, I don't know what the heck I'm looking at, but I'm just putting it out there for you. So that if, you, like I said, if you're thinking about coming up, maybe this will help you decide. Man, I can almost smell the gasoline running through my veins right now. There's no fake stuff here. This is all the real stuff. This BSA, right back from the day. Ah, some battle scars. I love that. You know, as I've gotten older, I I can appreciate the the battles, the falls, the spills. And I'm more apt just to leave a, a big old scratch on something as opposed to uh, getting all crazy, spending a bunch of money on something. This is this is a pretty bike right here. It is not perfect. Like I don't think anything here is perfect. I think the guy just appreciated it for what it was. And the engineering, oh, there's some parts right there. It looks like the clutch is apart. Oh man, can you hear it running right now? I can hear it in my head running. That's a baddie. And look at these. I'm just going to coast over them. Hopefully you'll have some fun looking at them. You know, this is all pre-China stuff. This is stuff that's made in America. Stuff that made, is made in Europe. Right there. There's a British seat right there. Union Jack. So, there is a time for the, the Chinese and Japanese stuff, but... There was a time for the Americans and the British. And so here we go. This guy's collected it all. I'm going to pan over these uh, <clears throat> parts. Like I said, I don't know what I'm looking at. But if you are looking for something rare, hard to find, or unusual, a couple engines. Ah, the crank. Look at that crank right there. There's a crank. Like I said, I, I was on the fence about coming down here, but man, I this is this is really blowing my mind, guys. I just think I just feel really blessed to be able to see all this. You know, I'd have to travel all over the United States if I wanted to try to pick this, this up from one guy and pick this up, find this part from another guy. You'd be traveling all over. But uh, there is a row of motorcycles over here. <clears throat> that I didn't uh, walk by. So I'm going to do that. <clears throat> hey. This is signed by the factory workers. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. Diane Newsom, Anna Boldrin. That's cool. Gary Ted Tedeff. Jan. Jeff Feldman. So that's cool. Signed by the people that made it. <clears throat> I'm going to walk over to this row of uh, motorcycles that I had to walk by. Maybe I'll catch, capture a little bit of this for you. Mm. The, the way they parked, if I go down to the other end and do a walk by, it's actually a little bit easier for you to see these bikes the way they're parked. The, the light is coming into the building from this left side, so that's where I'm going to start at, okay? Oh. Hopefully this helps you guys. That, that's, that is classic. Single cylinder, beautiful lines.
aerial, if you know what that is. Look at this. Now that has got to be unusual. That's got to be rare. A square four cylinder. Wow, that's cool. And like I said, I can almost hear these engines running in my head. <clears throat> you know, wrapping on the throttle. Noisy pipes. Hmm. And I encourage you guys to get out here tomorrow if you're thinking about it. You, I know you will enjoy yourself. I am enjoying myself immensely. Oh, and the other thing, this is free. <laughs> it's free to attend. There's no admission. You just come on in, enjoy yourself. Like I said, hot dogs are two bucks. Sloppy Joe's, I think it said three. And there's plenty of restrooms out there. This is a, you know, all this stuff, somehow it passed me by when I was growing up. The midget thing, you know, I knew it was out there happening, but I've never went to a, a midget race. But uh, looking at these cars down here, and look at the size of the engine that is, that is uh, setting inside these little tiny frames. No extra weight. Okay, just for scale, I'm going to put my hand out here. Just so I can give you how idea how tiny this little car is right here. Those look like uh, eight inch tractor tires or lawn tractor tires. Armadillo, Texas. All these cars have uh, that uh, that great patina. It's got the great beat up look. Look at this right here. Giant engine, Chevrolet, right there in a, like the lightest possible frame and bodywork. And they're looking homemade uh, homemade headers right there. Can you hear it running? Man, I can. This one's sitting on the ground. So I guess my opinion is there's so much stuff here, all in various stages of condition and working order that There'll be something here for you, regardless of what your budget is, and uh, regardless of you know your checking account, whatever it is. And you can pre-register online. I will capture the the rule board. There's certain rules out there posted. Now look at this. This this looks fun. Look at that. Right, like I said, I can hear this thing running in my head. It's wrapping out some noise. Steering wheel's offset. Lots and lots of parts. I wonder how they can even auction this all off in one day. There are online bidders if you're uh, far away. Yeah, look at that. Let's make some noise. Stone guard right in front of the radiator. There's stone guard, homemade header pipes. You know, somebody built this in their garage. Maybe a father and son. Number eight. Isn't that cool? Ooh, look at that one. Open wheel, no roll bar. Like I, I'm not even going to attempt to uh, tell you what kind of engines these are. I, you know, I, you, I know you guys know more about them than I do, but they are cool looking. Hmm, this one's got gigantic shocks, probably from their Buick. They took the shocks off their mom's Buick, probably. Homemade header, brakes. Oh, this is nice looking. Look at this. I'm going to step back. Hopefully, I can capture this for you. Don't they look like fun? Your wife will think you're crazy, but you'll have some fun. There's track gas cans right there for the track. Vintage garage.
like I said, something here for everybody's budget. And uh, the worst that would come out of it if you came over here tomorrow is uh, you'd learn something. Maybe you make a new friend, new contact. You're definitely going to learn something you did not know. Isn't this stuff cool? Oh, that's all put together. Nice. And look how old this thing is. This is somebody built in, out by in their barn on the farm. That's probably a tractor motor, I guess. I would, I'm just guessing. And they made themselves a hot rod go kart out of the thing. Parts, 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 parts. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Ooh, I'll let you guys figure out what that is. It's a slant something, or else it's laid down purposely, probably to throw the weight a little bit different. But look at this, all this home-built stuff. Somebody had tons of fun building it, tons of fun racing it. A lot of friendships probably made over these cars one guy needs some help with a is that a bmw engine <laughs> okay i think we got ourselves a bmw engine or a volkswagen engine there you go there's uh, no limit to what your imagination can build there's proof of it disc brakes on this thing with the braided brake lines front shocks yeah somebody had fun Somebody had fun building this. Somebody had fun racing it. And you may have some fun, too, if you come over here. Oh, this guy might look like paint job. We'll put some money in paint. Ah. Yeah, I'm a, I get a kick out of this. There you go. Volkswagen engine in my little race car. <laughs> Ain't that fun? There's a car all aluminum. Man. Alpha Romeo. Yep. The guys lay in their beds at night, and they dream this stuff up. Say, man, out in the track, I got this tractor out there. I got this, a combine sitting out there. I ain't using. I got a hay rake sitting out there. They lay in, Wally Dallenbach. They lay in bed that night when they can't sleep. This one's cool right here. This is beautiful. They dream this stuff up. They build it themselves. They might have their sons help them, their brothers come over, and they're building some memories. And of course, these things run. Can you hear the engine running? I can. I can hear it right now. Yeah. 